So, this one's gonna be about morning routines and about evening routines. And with that being said, hello and welcome back to the next episode of this Health Development with Tactics podcast. And this time, I'm not gonna talk so fast till I just really don't have any oxygen anymore, but I'm gonna be a little bit slower. I'm gonna be a little bit more deliberate with how I'm talking and maybe even the words that I'm using or I'm just gonna talk as I'm normally talking. <laughs> well anyway, um, today is a little bit of a different day. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a different thing because I'm having some notes here and we're gonna in this episode talk about morning routines, morning routines and evening routines and routines that are for alls in general. And yeah, it's there's not going to be anything else. It's not going to be something on the screen. I kind of think about translating this into text so that there is kind of a cheat sheet there, or maybe I'm gonna just make a photo of this, even though nobody could fucking read that. Like I even can't read that. Um, but yeah, but I just wanted to just handwrite it because I kind of wanted to go back to it for once again. But yeah, um, let's talk about that. You know, let's just have a look at this morning routines, evening routines, and whatnot. I think we're gonna start with the morning routines. And therefore, I'm also willing to start with what I'm doing every single morning. What I'm doing every single morning is waking up. Then I am, uh, yeah, probably going to be on my smartphone, just looking up analytics, even though this is really not something you should be doing. If you're just doing something, if you're just having a podcast, if you're having a YouTube channel, if you do music, I don't give a shit what you're doing. Don't fucking check the analytics all the fucking time. You're going to make your fucking self crazy. Like, it's insane. Like, of course, I understand it and I also do it. Because just, I want to see what works. I want to see what's not working. I want to just figure this stuff out. But uh, it's just really making you crazy. Like it really does. And just seeing, uh, yeah, I've lost a subscriber once again. Cool. I hate it. And and not just uh, being really happy because you've gained a subscriber or gained five views or something. Which is the case for me. I am really happy about that. You know? But, uh, but yeah, you know, this is just a little disclaimer. I would fucking say. So... Um, my morning starts with, as I said, waking up, gonna hit 10 times the snooze button because I didn't give a shit about that. Um, I'm just normally waking myself up relatively early so that I can lay down a little bit and that I'm just also having enough time for just uh, getting ready and stuff and whatnot. So at this point in time, actually, the morning routine is a little bit different than it is like normally because, um, yeah, because I don't have any school and therefore there's also just no uh, reason to kind of do stuff for example, just, I don't know, having a jeans on and some shit like this. So just getting myself ready. This is not something that I'm going to do, but I'm going to wake up. I'm going to just play around with, with my phone a little bit, a little tiny bit. Then I'm going to get up. I know I'm going to get up. Then I'm going to, did I actually do this today? Yes, I did it today. I get up. I actually do. I, yes, I open my window. So I actually kind of pull the thing down so that I can look through my window. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna name it like this, I'm gonna call it like this. Then I'm gonna head into the toilet and I'm gonna sit down into the toilet in the water, you know, because it's actually fresh water, so it doesn't really matter. I go into the water with my hand, I'm gonna slip down with my hand, take the shit that I've taken, you know, after I've been under it, I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna throw it against the wall. What I'm doing every single day is working quite fine for me. Then I'm obviously washing my hands because I'm not a dirty motherfucker. And afterwards, I just, or I do it before. Yeah, I'm either actually just doing it after I've taken shit or before I've taken my shit or pissed, doesn't matter. I'm gonna brush my teeth and this is a really important thing. And I've actually kind of, <laughs> I've, I've also thought about it for a little tiny bit, which is a interesting thing because I have quite never been thinking about it. But if you, like this is the thought that I had, if you're eating healthy, does it also mean that your teeth are gonna be not as yellow as other people's teeth. Since there is coffee, since there is black tea, which is, I guess, also not that of a good thing for your teeth. Since there is like sugary things, since there is whatever, um, I'm not eating any of this shit, you know? Does this then mean that my teeth are naturally better off than somebody else's teeth that are, or that is just eating something? Would actually be quite of an interesting thing to, to think about, quite an interesting thing to uh, have a look at actually as well, I would say. But yeah, so this is the first thing. This is the things that I'm doing every single day. I don't meditate in the morning, even though some people want to do this. Some people also do this. Um, some other things that, for example, Tim Ferriss was talking about yesterday as well, because yesterday, which is the episode that's going to come today, um, I've been watching a few Tim Ferriss videos, which one of was about morning routines and stuff. And for example, also doing some push-ups makes sense. Tidying up your bed makes sense, but this is something that I want to talk about it a little bit later on. It's a little bit messy, that actually, you know, because I'm actually having it 
on this side, even though it should be on this side. Well, never mind. Motherfucks. <laughs> so, I don't meditate, I don't do push ups, I don't tidy up my bed, even though I should. It makes sense. Then uh, I'm actually gonna go straight to work. And that's quite it for my morning routine. You know, I do just, I don't eat because I'm intermittent fasting. It works quite fine for me. I have gotten used to it actually pretty quickly because I also really like that. You know, I really like to be able to just get up and do something and feel good because I'm able to do something right ahead. Because I don't want to just do shit then in the evening or some stuff because I don't know, I don't like that. I don't like just knowing all day long that I'm gonna have to do something in the evening or something at some point of time in the day. Like, I just want to get stuff done. The most important things for me, which is the podcast, which is the social media stuff, which is all those things. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do the other shit, like school stuff and tidying up my room and all the other just semi-interesting things. <laughs> semi-interesting and semi-important things. So uh, the, the whole thing there is, I think, you should have a morning routine that is really... Uh, that's really good for what you're aiming for in life. You know, if you're just a family guy, if you will do want to care more about your family, then of course, please have a morning routine that is also enabling you to do so, which is maybe gonna be waking up earlier, which maybe is gonna be, I don't know, just going for a run with your daughter if she's doing that, with your son if he's doing that, and or just whatever. If you're just willing to be more productive, then your morning routine should also be based on that. If you're willing to be more healthy, then your morning routine should maybe also incorporate that a little bit with healthy eating already in the morning, carving out some time for doing so, maybe having a fresh pressed orange juice or something, which also takes time obviously, and stuff as well. So this is actually the morning routine, I guess. Have I left something out? Yes, in the end, it is all about happiness. If you're happy with the morning routine that you're having, then it is fine. If you constantly, every single day think, why did I get up so no, not so bad, <laughs> but why did I get up so late? Then maybe you should be doing something about it. Maybe you should just be like, hmm, I'm gonna get up a little bit earlier because then I feel better, you know? Because of course, you know, it's, it's nice to sleep for, uh, I don't know, 12 hours each day and stuff. I'm not doing that because I don't like it actually because I then feel bad because I actually get up pretty late and I don't get done all the stuff that I want to get done. And I'm then in pretty much in a hurry and I'm also pretty stressed out then because I just know that I have to do so much and I haven't done anything, which is totally not the case if I'm having the whole day for doing something. At least I feel about it in this way. Of course, there's some people that are just doing everything in the evening then or just at night. This is not something that I do. This is not something or not how I work. So actually, I have to now talk about the whole making your bad thing, which is uh, the only reason, well, the only reason, it's a, uh, hmm. one of the reasons why it is a good thing is because you're already completing one task. And I've actually found something pretty interesting there. I actually found, and I'm gonna show you this. I found a book summary and we are quickly gonna go through it because Make Your Bad by William McRae summary. I've I kind of actually accidentally seen that and I'm gonna show you. Here it is, and it is by the samuelthomasdavid.com site, which is davis, I'm sorry, davis.com site. And it's a pretty cool one. It's a pretty good one as well. I've been on it just for numerous, can you please, thank you. So here it is, and I do wanna go through this, the first few bits down. The book in three sentences. Make Your Bad is based on Admiral William H. McRaven's commencement speech for the graduation class from the University of Texas at Austin, which is also available here. So I think it is on video, I guess. Well, yeah. In it, McRaven shares the 10 lessons he learned from Navy SEAL training. The third one, they are simple lessons that deal with overcoming the trials of sail SEAL training, but the 10 lessons are equally important in dealing with the challenges of life, no matter who you are. I'm able to make it a little bit bigger, or I'm gonna fuck everything. <laughs> Thank you, uh, it's an amazing thing. Fuck. Now it is bigger. The 10 lessons. The first lesson is start your day with a task completed, which is making your bed. So if you want to change the world, st start off by making your bed, which is what they say down there. The second one is you can't go at it alone. You know, it's a team sport most often. The third one, only the size of your heart matters, which is a beauty, 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 beauty beautiful sentence. I love that. It's not about money. It's often about heart and how much heart you put into something. You know, you're gonna take your heart, squeeze it as hard as you fucking can, and then you just take the juice and put it into whatever. And then it's gonna get moldy. <laughs> Um, life is not fair, drive on, failure can make you stronger, you must dare greatly, stand up to the bullies, rise to the occasion, 
give people hope and never ever quit even though the never ever quit is semi-important like of course if it is something that you want to do don't quit if it is something that you understood that you actually don't know but you're just so deep in the process still quit even though it is just the difficult thing to do maybe actually going for the difficult thing always is like the uh, the thing you should be doing because most often like if it, if something is difficult then it is good or it's illegal and a crime could also be the case but so this is what i've been referring to as making your bed which is i think also something that maybe either goggins or um ah choco willing talked about or has been talking about or something similar i i guess maybe so morning uh, night routine or evening routine my evening routine consists of uh most of them gonna work a little bit in the evening as well Besides actually resting, I'm trying to do as much as I can during the day. Um, for example, working out, uh, editing everything, cutting everything, also rendering everything. Uh, I try to do everything in the evening, uh, not in the evening, but during the day. Sometimes I do just have to do things in the evening that I don't like to do in the evening. For example, learning stuff, for example, doing stuff for school, for example, uh, whatever. You know, there's just certain things that I do not want to do at this point of time because most often I'm just actually having to upload everything. I'm having to um, also just check what I've done everything because sometimes I forget about things. And then I'm having quite an hour, an hour and a half. Lately, I've actually had a little bit more of time to rest, to actively rest, like sitting there, watching some YouTube videos, doing stuff like that. I do want to take the time for me. I'm, I'm just trying to do as much as I can, but I, uh, I mean, I, I could do something there. I could. I sometimes don't actually know what, but I could do something for tomorrow, of course. Sometimes I'm actually also doing that if I feel like, well, I don't know, I do not want to watch any YouTube videos that I'm gonna just design something for the next day. I'm just gonna um, import the videos into Premiere for the next day so that it's a little bit faster and stuff like this. Then afterwards, gonna brush my teeth, I'm gonna take a shit. And again, I just slow, slowly, slowly but surely, it's very important, slowly but surely. I take my hand and slip under my shit and take it out. It's fairly easy. Sometimes you actually have to be a little bit more like, um, what's it called? Uh, it's not deliberate, I guess. You just have to be a little bit tough with it. You know, you just have to be a little bit like, a little bit strong with it and a little bit like just push it away and stuff because it sticks sometimes to like the, the floor of the toilet and the bottom of the toilet. And then, but if you slip through, you could just, of course, you could also take just this thing that you're using for burgers, the spatula, I guess it's called. I'm actually not quite sure. But then you take it out and flip it. And after you flipped it, you can just put it down again. You're not gonna throw it at the wall or at the window or at something else as you're doing it in the morning, but you're gonna take it and flip it and then put it down into the toilet once again. Then of course, wash your hands and stuff. And then I'm gonna meditate. I got to 20 minutes. I think I have started with five minutes. I actually, I, I, I think that I've done five minutes for quite some time. And at first, of course, at first it's been like a really fucked up thing. Meditation and meditating. Um, it's a really difficult thing in the very beginning. But in the end, even though I can't really tell if there is a lot of benefits to it and stuff, because I don't know. I don't know what it is like to just not meditate. You know, I don't have the context. I don't have just the, the difference. I don't just have the... the uh, They're not having it. Like, just, I don't know. I really don't know. So... I meditate for 20 minutes. It takes some time till you can get there. I've kind of wasted my time with this as well. In terms of like, I've been just, I don't know, meditating for uh, probably five and uh, no, I think it's been 10 and 15 minutes for just such a long time that, that, that yeah, I could have stepped up to 20 minutes just way earlier, but it is fine. Which I am, um, so I'm not only using podcasts, most often I'm using Akimbo by Seth Godin for meditating, which is a pretty good way to as well get some information into your brain while you're meditating to just maybe make it a little bit easier for you as well. Maybe a guided meditation, you know, something that you can just focus on instead of focusing on all the stuff that's going on in your head and shit. Works pretty fine. A little tip there because I've also noted it. And when you're just trying to do 20 minutes, the fucked up thing is that if you're using the podcast app or I think even Spotify and stuff, you can't set an own time limit. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to go two minutes and 30 seconds. They're going to be like, fuck you. I'm not going to do that. You know, so the stuff is and the thing is, and it at least works for iOS. I don't know if it works on Android as well. But if you go into your timer app or into your clock app to the timer, there is an option for the alarm at the very, very, very bottom to stop playing or something else. 
stop, I think it's actually stop playing. So if the timer goes on, everything that's playing on your phone gets stopped, which means that you can just uh, have 20 minutes, you can have 13 minutes and two seconds and all these things, it still works pretty fine. So I'm doing this, sometimes I actually sleep in, which is not that of a cool thing. And uh, especially because I don't then really know how long I've been meditating. And it's a little bit of a state between like feeling rested and feeling like just pretty fucked because I've slept in and stuff. Not that of a cool thing, but yeah. Do I do anything else actually? No, not really. Ah, right. I tend to open my window if I'm meditating or while I'm meditating because I think that um, first of all, having a cold room is always good for sleeping. And I actually often thought like, well, I do not really have such a cold room because I'm gonna get ill and I just don't like it. I've slept with 50 degrees Celsius, which is 59 degrees Fahrenheit in my fucking room, which is actually pretty as cold. But I felt really good with it. I felt amazing with it, really amazing with it. And uh, therefore I'm just always doing that. And most often I really feel like, uh, what's that of a shit? When I actually open my do- uh, open my window, meditate and afterwards I kind of forgotten about something and have to go out of my room and then I go out and just notice how fucking warm it is outside and how fucking whatever it is outside and then I feel like "Uh, I'm actually pretty happy that it's pretty cold in my room but then the problem is if I get down into my room once again it is fucking ass cold and I'm dying basically so it's a little bit of a downside but I sleep way better I do have enough oxygen um it's also better for meditation I think because I hear what's going on outside which I think is also a little bit of a calming thing So yeah, is there something else? I think I've written down something on the other side as well. Trying out other routines, of course, I think also kind of makes sense to just um, figure out if there's something else that you could be doing. For example, drinking certain teas, as Tim Ferriss, for example, is doing it, or uh, drinking uh, milk or whatever you think is a healthy thing to do. In the end, it should create the life you want and you should just be going for your preferences. If sleep is one of your preferences, maybe you're not gonna, I don't know, meditate for such a long time because it's taking some time away from your sleep, even though it might be kind of just similar to sleep. I don't had a look or I haven't had a look at some studies lately or something, but I should maybe because you are in a specific state. It might be kind of correlated to sleep. It might be a little bit of a similar state as you're having it or as you have, as you are in when you're sleeping and stuff like this. Other things that you might be doing is drinking a bit, a bit of water before you go to bed because uh, dehydration and stuff, unless you're just then gonna have to take a piss while you're sleeping, which is a fucked up thing. Even though... On the other hand, this could also be good because something that I've seen is when I wake up, take a piss and go to bed once again, I tend to be able to dream more and therefore also lucid dream, which is a cool thing. So you might consider this as well. Then, um, yes, some, some other things, of course, healthy eating or eating something before bed as well. And or just some other things that some other people might be doing like yoga and instead of meditation actually like there's so many things that you could be doing but in the end i think whether it is the morning routine or the evening routine it's just very important to have one because your body uh, knows that for me for example it is the case that after i've meditated i'm tired and my body knows okay after this dude has meditated he's gonna go to bed he knows that it's not gonna be like oh yeah i am just please do something (laughs) please do something you know because i'm so awake and stuff no it's not the case Because I believe that my body knows that I'm gonna go to bed because it's always the exact same shit. And I'm always doing it in the exact same way. I'm also not using my bed anything else for sleeping and other stuff. I'm not working there, I'm not eating there, I'm not learning there. Everything that has something to do with that is the desk area. I know it's also a pretty important thing because this is associated with sleep and rest and stuff. This is associated with work, um, active rest and other stuff. But not sleep and also not just whatever, you know very important also to think about but yeah i think this is actually quite it and i think i've covered a a few things and of course by the way um journaling might be a good thing for you as well whether it is in the evening or in the in the morning of course as well then and now we're going to talk about habits a little bit you're already having some sort of a chain reaction you get up you uh, eat something you take a shit you you just brush your teeth you do whatever and then you can you can add something to that chain which means you get up okay then your brain knows okay you're gonna have to just brush your teeth you're gonna brush your teeth after you brush your teeth your head knows oh i have to take a shit or maybe vice versa you could also just go take a shit and then brush your teeth because you remind yourself on the fact 
that you have to do this because you're always doing the exact same thing every single day. And then you can be like, well, after I've brushed my teeth, I could actually kind of work out a little bit and make this a habit, you know, because you're then, you're not gonna forget about that. Because the thing is, I have actually forgotten about brushing my teeth in the very first times with fucking intermittent fasting, because I've had this structure of, okay, I get up, take a shit, eat something and brush my teeth. What about eating? Eating went away. Eating went away and therefore I just took a shit and then went to work. And then it's, you know, that's it. And then I've forgotten about fucking brushing my teeth. I think it's actually not been in the very early stages of intermittent fasting, but rather just actually not that long of a time from now. It's a, it's a fucked up thing, the whole habit stuff. You know, it's pretty insane if I even forget about brushing my fucking teeth. But yeah, anyway... I hope you've liked it. I hope you've been able to just learn something. Uh, but thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Like really, 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 it just means a lot to me. By the way, question of the day. What do you think could you be doing better with your morning routine? That's the question of the day. Or also evening routine with both routines. Maybe your day routine as well. But yeah, I wish you the best health, of happiness and also success. And also hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person then being remembered as a nice person. Uh, but yeah, three other questions that I have for you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change and what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea. But yeah, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Like really, 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 it means a lot to me. And I'm hopefully going to see you the next time. Also maybe on the podcast. But yeah, I'm going to see you.